Okay, good morning class. Welcome to the new normal style of learning. So this is our online English class. So to those who don't know me yet, I'm Mr. Dennis N. Carmelo. So uh, your English teacher for school year 2020-2021. So before we start our lesson, let's have a prayer. So Rosaline, uh, will you please read the prayer? Uh, kindly read the prayer flashed on your screen. Dear Lord and Father of all, thank you for today. Thank you for the way, for ways in which you provide for, for us all. For your protection and love, we thank you. Help us to focus our hearts and minds now on what we are about to learn. Inspire us by your Holy Spirit as we listen and write. Guide us by your eternal light as we discover more about the world around us. We ask all this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Okay. So uh, in every classroom, there's always a rule that you need to follow. So just like a normal classroom setup. So here are our classroom rules that you need to follow. So number one, be prepared and on time. So be ready at least 15 minutes before the class begins. So check if your gadget and connection work very well. Number two, be dressed, groomed in a manner appropriate for, for a classroom. So wear, wear appropriate clothes uh, for online class. Number three, find a quiet place free from distractions. So set up a location with the minimal distractions. Number four, listen attentively to the teacher. So you shouldn't uh, look to anyone. Your eyes must focus on the presentation only. Next, number five. So raise your hand or type in the chat box if you have a question. So use a uh, chat box only to post relevant comments or question. And last but not the least, so be respectful. So you should, you should stay on mute while others are talking. So refrain from eating or drinking in front of the camera. So use an appropriate language. Um, this is still considered as a classroom. So may I see your thumbs up sign if you understand our classroom rules. Again, may I see your thumb, thumbs up sign. Okay, thank you. So because of what's happening now in our country and in, our, in, our, in the world, so I want to know how do you feel right now? So all you have to do is to pick one emoji or emoticon on your screen that best describes how you feel right now. So start your sentence with I feel and end it with this is because. Okay, for example, I feel happy today. This is because all my students are present. So this time it's your turn. So may I hear the voice of Lucelle? Can you share how do you feel right now, Lucelle? Pick one emoji on your screen. Unmute your uh, microphone sign, Lucelle. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wait. Where is your presentation? I couldn't see it. Sorry, I couldn't view your okay. presentation anymore. Uh, we will go back to you later. Rosaline, may, may I know how do you feel right now? Okay. So I will pick. I will pick. The emoticon, which is excited. Okay. Uh, I feel excited because, you know, this is our, our new normal kind of learning, sir. This is because? Because this is not the normal one. So okay. I feel excited, but uh, a little bit nervous, okay. perhaps. Okay. Thank you for sharing. Uh, another one, uh, let me hear the voice of Jonathan. Jonathan, they know how do you feel right now? Good morning, sir. I Good feel morning. happy. I feel happy because... This is because? Because I can see you all. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we will always start our lesson through word of the day, wherein I will share unfamiliar, unfamiliar word every Tuesday. So our word for the day is epidemic. So you always hear in the news, pandemic. So the opposite or the antonyms of pandemic is epidemic. So epidemic is a noun. 
uh, it means a widespread occurrence of an infectious disease in a community at a particular time. Example of sentence, the United States faced a bubonic plaque epidemic at the beginning of the 20th century. Okay, to loosen up and for you to feel relaxed, so we will play a riddle game. So I know you are familiar with the riddle. So a riddle is a puzzling question posed as a problem to be solved or guessed. All you have to do is to guess the word being described in each riddle. Okay, let's start with number one. Tall when sitting, short when standing. May I hear the voice of Zen? What do you think is the correct answer? That is a kind of animal. Yes, the correct answer is dog. Very good. Next, two wells which you cannot turn to look at. That is a part of a face. May I hear the voice of um, Malu Katagatan? Eyes, sir. No. Anyone what? would like to help uh, Malu? Lucelle, what do you think is the correct answer? Two wells you cannot turn to look at two. That is a part of our face. Ears? <laughs> yeah, let's see if your answer is correct. Yes, very good. Ears. <laughs> Next, number three. A princess full of eyes. May I hear the voice of Selena? That is a kind of fruit. Selena, are you, are you there? What do you think would like to help Selena to guess this riddle? That is a kind of fruit. Yes, Lucelle, you're raising your hand. Is it a pineapple, sir? Okay, let's check your answer. Very good, that is a pineapple. Next, I have a friend and he is with me wherever I go. So what is being described in this riddle? May I hear the Can voice? I sir, sir. Yes, Grace? I, I, I see it as, uh, it, it is a shadow. Okay, let's check if your answer is correct. Okay, very good, Grace. Okay. That is a shadow. Last one. Roll in the morning, lift in the afternoon. That is a thing used for sleeping and placed on the floor. Yes, I, Rosaline, I see your hand. Matt. Okay. Okay, that is the correct answer. Yeah. Okay. So for you to have an idea what is our lesson for today, so this is our objective. So analyze relationships presented in analogies. So I have here three pictures, three sets of pictures, uh, the, the, the following pairs of pictures are not connected or related with one another. All you have to do is to match column A and pictures in column B that shows similarities and relationship with one another. So in column A, we have a telephone, an airplane, and a hand. In column B, we have a ring, a letter, and a bus. Would like to answer number one. Jonathan, what do you think is the picture connected to a telephone? Letter B, sir. A letter. A letter. Why do you say so? Because I... Oh. Because they, they are used for? Because they are used for writing, sir. For, for, for writing. coloring. For coloring. Telephone and letter. I'm they sorry. For... <laughs> a color telephone sir because this is used for communication and letter is also used for communi communication okay very good next number two an airplane what do you think is the picture connected or related to a telephone anyone malu may i hear your voice what do you think is the word connect um picture connected to, a, to an airplane? Is that a bus or a ring? Yes, Grace, I see your hand. Uh, unmute your microphone, Grace. Sorry, the plane and the bus used for trans, uh, form of transportation. Okay, very good. And next, 
last one is a hand. So what do you think is the best picture connected to a hand? Of course, that is a ring. Okay, so a telephone and a letter, they are used for, uh, used to communicate. So they are means for communication. So an airplane and a bus are used for travel. So they are modes of transportation. And then a hand and a ring, so they are connected because um, a ring is worn in the, in the hand. Okay. So you'll be able to connect the three pictures that show similarities and relationship with one another. So that is what you call an analogy. Okay. So an analogy is a comparison of two pairs of words that have the same similarities or relationship. Okay. So an analogy is a term that means word relationship. So it always contains two pairs of words that show similarities and relationships between pairs of words. So uh, solving an analogy um, helps you develop uh, critical thinking skills. So I have here an example. Doctor is to hospital as teacher is to school. So it can be written like this, doctor, single colon, hospital, double colon, teacher, single colon, school. So single colon means is to, double colon means as. Okay, so how this, uh, these two pairs of pictures shows, uh, show an analogy. A doctor works in a hospital. So it means a hospital is a working place for a doctor. So while a teacher works in a school, so it means a school is a working place for a teacher. So a uh, doctor, hospital, and teacher school have worker and working place relationship. Okay, let's have another example. Toddler is to man as caterpillar is to butterfly. So um, how these two pairs of pictures or words show an analogy? Anyone? May see your hand? Yes, Grace, may see your hand? Un unmute your uh, microphone. Uh, it is related to life cycle. Okay, it's because the toddler grows and turns into a man. So similarly, caterpillar grows and turns into a beautiful butterfly. Okay, so analogy comes in different types or classification. So number one type of, uh, syn uh, of um, analogy is synonym. So this type of relationship is established between two words that convey the same meaning. So this type of analogy uh, shows a similar relationship of, or have the same meaning with one another. So let's have an example. So huge is to colossal as glad is to happy. So huge and colossal means the same as glad and happy. So both pairs of words are synonymous or connected with one another. So let's have another example. So shiny is too bright as elegant is too fabulous. So shiny has the same meaning with bright. Elegant and fabulous mean the same too. So both examples are synonymous to one another. Okay, this time, will you please give me an example of analogy that falls under synonym. May I hear the voice of Selena? Selena, are you there? Oh, Selena is absent, I guess. Selena, Gabrielle, will you please help Selena? Okay, what's the question, sir? Okay, will you please give me an example of analogy that falls under synonyms or have the same meaning with one another? Okay, uh... Sad and lonely. Okay. Sad and lonely. lonely. Okay, another pair. 
because uh, um, analogy comes in two pairs. Sad and lonely, beautiful and pretty. Okay, very good. Okay, let's try this. Uh, let's try this analogy. Okay, to answer this analogy, I will use my will of I will use my will of names. Let's see who is the lucky student to answer this analogy. Okay, Jonathan, congratulations. Okay, will yes. you please answer that analogy? Many is to several, a spare is to... Dark. <laughs> Dark, what sir. Do you think is the dark, sir. Of dark, uh, of fair. Let's Letter see C, answer. dark. Let's see if your answer is correct. Oh, the correct answer oh. is jazz. So, fair, the synonyms of fair is jazz. Okay. So, another a type of analogy is antonyms. So, antonyms, this type of relationship between two words that are opposite in meaning. Okay. So that this type of analogy shows an opposite relationship with one another. So let's have an example. So weak is too strong as push is too pull. So the opposite of weak is strong while the opposite of push is pull. Okay, let's have another example of Antonyms. So wealthy is too poor as night is too day. So the opposite of wealthy is poor, while the opposite of night is day. So the two pairs of words are opposite with one another. Okay. Who can give me an example of uh, analogy that falls under antonyms or they have the opposite meaning with one another. May I hear the voice of Gabriel? Gabriel? Hello, sir. Yes. Can you give me an example of analogy that of falls antonyms. under antonyms? Hats is the whole. Okay. Long is the short. Okay, very good. Okay, let's try this analogy okay to answer this analogy again i will use my bill of names okay rosana rosana will you please answer this analogy sickness is to help as poverty is to Rosanna, are you still there? Okay, I see Selena raising her hand. Okay, will you please help uh, Rosanna? Unmute your microphone, Selena. Letter D. Letter D. Let's check if your answer is correct. Okay, bravo. Congratulations. Okay, the next type of analogy is part and a whole. So when one word of the pair represents a single part of the whole object given in other word of, of the pair. So example, room is to house as chapter is to book. So room is part of a house while chapter is part of the book. Okay, let's have another example of part and whole relationship. Blade is to fan as pedal is to bicycle. So a uh, blade is part of a fan while pedal is part of a bicycle. Okay. Let's check. Who will answer this analogy again? Let's try our will of names. Who is the lucky student? Who will answer the analogy? Okay, Selena, congratulations. Will you please answer this analogy? 
Thank okay. You. Uh, Philippines is to Asia as France is to... There are eight. Okay, let's check if the answer is correct. Okay, very good. So Philippines is part of an Asian continent and France is a part of a European continent. Okay, very good. Okay, next type of uh, uh, type of analogy is item purpose. When one word of the pair shows the purpose of its pair. Okay, so this type of analogy gives the idea of item and its function or purpose. So, for example, microscope is to magnify as camera is to photograph. Kindly unmute your microphone, Rosanna and Lucel. So, microscope is the object or a thing, and the purpose of microscope is to magnify things. While camera is an object or a thing, and the function is to photograph things or people or to capture memories. Okay, another example of item purpose relationship is barometer is to pressure as thermometer is to temperature. So barometer is a device used to measure um, atmospheric pressure while, ther while thermometer is an instrument that measures temperature. Okay, who can give me an example of Analogy that shows an item purpose relationship. Anyone? Giselle, are you raising your hand? Yes. Can you give me an example of analogy that shows an item purpose relationship? Well, um, glass is to water as plate is to food. Am I correct, sir? Come again. Glass is to water. A sea source. Sea source. A sea source is to. No, sir. Sorry, po. Yes. It's um. A, a glass is to water. Water. Okay. okay. As plate is to food. Okay. Very good. Okay. Let's check. Who will answer this? analogy let's try this one okay julie will you please answer yes this sir analogy that an item purpose relationship okay i think it? the uh Read first Hygrometer is to humidity as telescope is to enlarge. Okay, let's check if your answer is correct. Okay, bravo. The correct answer is enlarge. So the, the purpose of hygrometer is to measure humidity and the purpose of the telescope is to enlarge an object. Okay. Next, another example of um, analogy is characteristics or qualities. So people and things are usually described by their special qualities or characteristics. So this type of analogy that shows characteristics or traits of something or someone. So let's take a look at my example. Barracuda is to scaly as Pomeranian is to furry. So barracuda is a type of fish that is very scaly. So the the special characteristic or trait of barracuda is scaly, while Pomeranian is a breed of dog that is very furry. So the special trait or characteristics of Pomeranian is furry. Okay, another example. Aluminum is to light as gold is to heavy. So aluminum is a type of metal that is very light while gold is a very or uh, is a um, is a heavy metal okay is that clear okay let's answer this analogy okay 
Okay, Grace. I think Grace, this is her lucky day. So, will you please answer the analogy <laughs> on the screen? Okay, so deer is to swim as turtle is to slow. Okay. Am I right? So, the answer is correct. So the ah, correct. Okay, the, the special characteristic of a turtle is slow. They are a slow animal, slow moving animals. Okay, next type of analogy is tool worker. When one word or pair represents the working individuals and another word of the pair indicates their working place. So this type of analogy Two words of pairs are related in such a way that the one word is a tool and uh, the second word is the person who is using that tool. So, for example, telescope is to doctor as plow is to farmer. So, the, the doctor uses stethoscope to listen to the sound of our internal organs. So, while the farmer uses a plow. So a plow is a farm tool for uh, loosening or turning the soil before planting. Okay, let's have another example. Sewing machine is to paylor as cowpaw is to surgeon. So the paylor uses sewing machine for altering or constructing or um, repairing garments while surgeon Use a scalpel for surgery or for dissection. Okay, let's try this one. Okay, Rosalyn. Rosalyn? Are you still there? Yes. Okay, will you please read the analogy on the screen? Sword is to warrior as rolling pin is to rolling pin. Yes, rolling pin. Baker. Okay, let's check if your answer is correct. Okay, very good. So Rolling pin is a tool, it's a one tool used by a baker to flatten the dough. Okay, so last but not the least type of analogy is cause and effect relationship. So when one word of the pair tells the cause and the other pair tells the effect. So one word is the source of the action and the other word is the result or the consequence. So let's have an example. So fatigue is to yawning as cavity is to put ache. So the fatigue is the cost. Yawning is the effect. Cavity is the reason for having a put ache. Okay? Another one is earthquake is to tsunami as rain is to flood. So the earthquake is the cost. Tsunami is the effect, while rain is the source of the action and flood is the result or the consequence. Okay, is that clear? Okay, let's try this analogy. Okay, Zen, will you please answer this analogy? Zen, are you still there? Okay, would like, uh, Julie, I see your, I see your hands. Zen, yes, Zen, will you please answer this analogy? Effort is to success as sleep is to fatigue. I know, Sandali. Yes. What do you think is the cause and the effect? The, the effect of a sleep? Sleep is, to, sleep is to energy. Okay, let's check if the answer is correct. Okay, bravo. The correct answer is energy. Okay. 
Okay, to check if you fully understood our lesson, so may I see, um, could you please grab your uh, extra phone and then go to this site, joinmyquiz.com, and then enter the game code 511683. So if you don't have extra phone, just go to another tab and then go to joinmyquiz.com and then enter the game code 511683. Okay, I'm waiting in the game field. Again, go to joinmyquiz.com and then enter the game code 511683. Okay. So we have three players already, Gab, Rosaline, and Julie. I'm waiting for the other, other students. Okay, Jonathan is already in the field. I'm waiting for others, come on. You can do it. Okay, Cell is already in the field, in the game field. Again, go to joinmyquiz.com and then enter the game code 511683. Okay, so I will start now the, our game. Okay, leading is Ga, a uh, Julie. The leading student is Julie. Okay, the leading student now is Gab. Come on, you can do it. The leading student is Gab. It's only five questions. Come on, you can do it. The leading is Gabrielle. Okay, Gab is already finished. Rosalyn is already finished. And Jonathan, Julie is already finished. We're waiting for Sam and Cell. Okay. So Cell is all... Cell, we are waiting for you. Come on. There's only five questions. Okay. So the first place is Gab, second place is Rosaline, and the first third place is Julie. Okay, here are your scores. Okay. Okay, thank you for uh, playing with me. So uh, since you will only meet once using synchronous learnings, so I will give to you your activities for the next couple of days. For, for day three, answer word building on page five, activity two on page nine. For our day four, answer remember the story writing in your module on pages nine to 10. And for our day five, answer post-test and reflective learning essay on your module on pages 10 to 11. So don't worry, I will still post all the activities in our Google Classroom and Facebook Messenger group chat. So thank you for listening. Goodbye, class.
Nice one.